The truth is, I've always been looking at images. I just, I pour through books and photographs and things and just, even if I'm not going to use them, I just have always uh, been drawn to look at uh, photos, even when I was young. It, you know, it just seemed like I was always pulling them down from my mother and father's shelf, just, you know, old encyclopedia type things. It, it, and so images just kind of were always what I was drawn to. and. and and so I often liked working from those, uh, just, just as I always had found other kind of anonymous photos to work from. Uh, and I, I think it was always a way of kind of dealing with these people who had, who had been either displaced or uh, estranged and set up in those kind of parlor, photo parlors where they're given the jewels to wear for that day and then that's it, you know. And that always, that, the nature of the photograph and that history always interested me, so I never have denied the role of photography in the work because that's actually always been very intentional that the work you know speaks of that history a little bit of sitters um, and the kind of awkwardness sometimes of posture in that type of situation <laughs> Some people, I think their fears are this is, then painting becomes a painting for painting's sake as opposed to having subject matter. I don't really believe that. I, it just, it's, it starts to feel like an unnecessary uh, attention that my painting didn't have to be about something else, mm. you know, uh, that, uh, and so, uh, and obviously in, in kind of moving away from that I started to recognize what my painting was truly about, uh, which were in some ways were uh, people who had, who had suffered loss, people who uh, I remember calling an earlier show pilgrims, and so I was thinking really it was this idea, not so much in search of something sacred, but the kind of journeys people take, uh, and um, that kind of in that search, you know, so, so the work kind of changed as I changed. <laughs> Often the figures now, they are someone specific, either family or someone historic. Um, and even, yeah, I should say, even when I'm doing someone from a, I'm using some multiple sources of like anonymous photos or uh, some photo I've found, mm -hmm. I, I have this notion that I'm investing a history into it, that I'm, I'm making it story um, in a way. It's like a, a fiction. Um, I believe, you know, how I explore that combination in my work, this, this marriage of uh, things being described and some things being just suggested or color dispersing, uh, I think that's where the memory becomes enhanced, you know, and, and becomes uh, something more than just a recording. mid-90s I, I started to see these episodes you know even though I've been painting all this time and accumulating all these ideas for paintings that I wasn't even getting to I started to see some of the family episodes as and maybe it's just as simple as realizing that's a great painting <laughs> you know that would be a great painting you know and from my point of view so I you know and sometimes I don't think there's any more motive for a painting other than I want to see that painting I want to see that one carried out you know and so that's uh, it, it took some years to realize it was my own family that I wanted to start making images of and my mother and father's history uh, and it, it, there were eight, eight kids in my family so it'd be you know it's, there's a lot of 
lot of tales to tell and a lot of tall tales to tell. And